welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up views in Tana so you can find exactly what you need when you need it and filter out everything that you don't need. Hey, my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos about how to level up your life and work using Tools for Thought. You see, one of the big mistakes that I see a lot of new Tana users making is that they create a super tag, which is awesome, and then they manage to create a search great so they can find those things again but then they just rely on that one search to then kind of find those things or to find things as they need them so they end up doing things like using the filters and saying like i want to see everything that's in progress or everything that's done and so what they end up doing is just having one search that they can figure every single time they need to find something specific but what you want to do is to actually think through all the different times in your process that you might need to find something and set up different searches so that you're not always clicking around and trying to find the things that you need, but you, they're actually just in front of you and ready to go. And that's going to really help your flow. It's going to help you to get things done faster. It's actually going to help you to love using your tools so much more. So let's jump in and look at how this works in practice. So let's just talk about something really simple like task management in Tana. There's probably a whole lot of people who this is the first thing that they actually start to do is just start to jot down a few different tasks. Now, if we have a think about tasks, each of those tasks kind of lives in a different space in time for us. Some of them uh, we're just kind of like entering in and we just want to dump them in there. Others will be kind of in our uh, list of things that maybe we want to do someday. Uh, some of them may be something that we have to do today. And so it's not really helpful in the moment where you have to do a task to see all of the tasks, right? You don't want to see everything. You just want to see the tasks that you need to do right now. But maybe at the beginning of the week or the end of the week, you kind of want to go through and say, what are all the tasks I need to do? And then um, kind of schedule some for the upcoming week. So rather than kind of flick around all the time, and uh, kind of look at, okay, what are today's tasks and what are the upcoming tasks? And then now I'm in this mode and I need to get that, you know, these kinds of things done. Instead, start to think about all the different moments that you might need to view tasks in different ways. The easiest way to think about this is either through different modes. So what mode are you in at that time? Are you in get the work done today mode? Are you in planning mode? Are you in review mode? All those different types of things start to think through those. Or on the other hand, just think through your process, right? The process that a task goes through. So it might come through as incoming and you might have a mode for that and a search for that. It might then come through as something that you have to plan on a calendar. So it might be kind of in some kind of bucket um, where that's where all your scheduled tasks are. It might need to get done today. So then it needs to be in a today task. So what you want to do is start to set up all these different ways that you can view tasks according to either your process or the moment that you're in. The reason that this is so important is one, it focuses you. All of my distracted ADHD kind of people who just get distracted by all the things, this is going to help you to focus in and to say, okay, I need to do these tasks. I'm not going to be distracted by these other ones. At that specific moment, that task just doesn't exist. Okay, all the things that you need at that moment is about getting them to your fingertips at that time. Um, and it's really worth setting up your Tana workspace like this because you will find yourself with more focus, more flow, and having everything that you need when you need it. All right, so let's have a look at what this looks like in practice. Let's say you have a whole heap of tasks, you've entered them in, it looks something like this. You know, a few different tasks in your Tana fast track. So let's think about all the different ways that you might want to view that data. Firstly, you might want to view all of the tasks that you haven't done. Okay, that's a pretty simple kind of way to view your tasks. So let's go Command K and we'll just bring up our find nodes. We're going to find nodes uh, with the tag task. And then we're just going to look for the field of status. And we want to come in here and put, press complete and we'll kind of finish off this in the live query. Okay, we're seeing everything that's complete, but we want to see everything that is not complete. So we're going to go live query, and then all we're going to do is just put the not command in here and just drag status in. Okay, that's as easy as that is. Now what we're going to see here is all of our tasks that 
are not done. Okay, so we're going to just call this available task. Okay, and it's as simple as that, right? Then you might want to see, you don't want to see all available tasks, you want to see the ones that are in progress or the ones that you're currently working on, okay? So if you want to just get straight in and get tasks done. So we then might want to go to find nodes with the tag task and then with the field, uh, let's just go complete again and we'll just make sure that this says in progress and we'll go run, okay? Now what you see is nothing is there. So if we have a look at any of our available tasks, you'll see there's some parked, there's some complete, obviously, but if we move this into in progress, then you'll see, oh, okay, well now this is kind of in progress task. And so it's much easier to see my in progress tasks right here, rather than it is to see kind of all these available tasks and have to look through and see which ones am I supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to be doing that today? All of that kind of thing. Now you might ask, why wouldn't we just show that as a, uh, as cards and then group it? Okay. Absolutely. You could do that and you could see everything that is in all of the different statuses, right? And I do use, uh, groupings in this way, but Again, when we're talking about focus and flow, it's always good to filter out all the things you don't need right now. So I don't need to see what's parked and be um, kind of distracted by, oh my gosh, I need to buy milk and I need to do this. I don't need to be distracted by things I'm blocked on. I just need to know what's in progress. And so it makes much more sense to me um, to just view my in progress tasks. I don't actually worry. It's like all the other tasks do not exist. Okay. And so then you might have another, uh, another way or another, a kind of task list that is maybe everything you're blocked on. So for me, um, when I'm working on tasks, if I'm blocked on something, I just mark it as blocked. And then that way at some point I can go through and I can work on that. So we might do exactly the same. We're going to search for tasks. We're going to find the field status and we're going to look for blocked. And we're going to view that as a list. And so what this means is anytime I'm blocked on something and I need to unblock myself or I am, um, you know, in one of my huddles with any of my colleagues and we always bring up these roadblock tasks. And I can say, oh, I'm really blocked on this. Can anyone help me? Or I can, you know, find, find people. What that does for me, right? Seeing just this particular search, I can then like focus mode on this particular thing, right? So the problem with roadblock tasks is that usually they just sit on our task list and we don't know what to do with them. So they just roll over every single day and we never actually get to unblocking them. So part of having these different modes or these different searches for, for different things is that now you can actually set some time aside when you've got headspace and when you've got time to think through it and think, oh, these are my block tasks, I can go through them. And the same when we go all the way back to in progress tasks, like, okay, I'm in the mode of, the ha of being able to work through things right now, okay? And so once you've got a few of these tasks together, um, then what you can easily do is group these together into like kind of a task hub, okay? So just set this up as a task hub, nest all of your searches underneath this, and then all I do is I just command K it and view it as a tab. And then what I feel like I have is an actual hub where I can find all my tasks. So I can find available tasks, I can find in progress, I can find block tasks. And now I really have a, a comprehensive way to find what I need when I need it to find focus and flow in all of my different tasks. Think through then the steps what is the process that this kind of particular item goes through and when do i need to see only that think about the moment in time that you might need to find something and exactly what you need at that time and then create the different live searches to be able to find those things when you need them and then all of those searches can come together into that one hub that you kind of call that's your you know content hub it's or it's your task hub or it's your home hub and the best thing about that is then you can pull those in whenever you need them, whenever you're in that mode, you know exactly where to go to find the things that you need rather than rifling through 
all of the items in that particular super tag. I hope this video was helpful in kind of how to structure some of the searches in your Tana and how to find the things that you need them and the, the items in your super tags that you need at the specific time that you need them. And if you liked this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel because I make videos like this every week on how to improve your Tana workspace and how to level up your life uh, using these kinds of tools. Now, if you do want um, actually some specific hubs and some specific ways of viewing content, of viewing your knowledge, of viewing your tasks and your projects, then please have a look at the Tana Fast Track course. I help you actually develop all of these kinds of different hubs where you can find things and find your flow and find your focus in the best way possible. I will put the link below um, and I hope that I can see you in there uh, one of these days.